Well, we know not everyone can keep up with all the news from this week. That's why CBS News Colorado has gathered stories that topped our website from the last five days. Here's a look at some of the stories that garnered the most interest on CBSColorado.com. On Monday, Governor Polis eliminated restrictions on how many roommates can live together. It only allowed two unrelated people to live with someone. Even the city's mayor at the time said the rule needed to be changed. If we think this is just a young person's issue, I think that's a false framing of the issue. Mm -hmm. It's really community-wide. So under the law, the governor signed as of July 1st, Fort Collins and nearly dozen other Colorado cities rules will be eliminated. The governor said occupancy limits were an artificial barrier to more housing and said it's not the government's business who your roommates are. A new way of studying altitude is adjusting a few things across Colorado from our famous peaks to the famous steps at the state capitol. And it means the mile high marker at the capitol will have to move. In 2026, the government will be switching over to a new nationwide coordinating system that studies all kinds of data like latitude, longitude and height. Well, now the study shows that some of our 14ers are different heights, that the step at the Capitol will also have to move again. The study has taken 15 years and will have huge implications across all mapping done throughout the country. As our population continues to grow, the demand for water is growing as well, especially when it comes to the need for drinking water. In northern Colorado, a massive operation is underway to make sure there will be enough water for everyone long into the future. Your reporter in northern Colorado, Dylan Thomas, got an update on the Chimney Hollow Reservoir. We've been planning this project since the late 90s. And after decades of planning, Permitting and funding, the Chimney Hollow Reservoir project is now taking form. We're just over halfway through our construction period. Unless you traveled west of Loveland into the foothills, you'd never realize one of the biggest construction projects in the state is here in this valley. This is a new 350 foot tall uh, Rockfield Dam. This is the, the tallest new dam built in all of the United States in the last 20 or 25 years. And the rocks building the dam are locally sourced. Every day, dozens of trucks are mining more than 62,000 tons of rock from the center of the project and moving them to the dam. A dam which will be only the second asphalt core dam ever built in the U.S. So it also makes it uh, one of the uh, largest mining operations in the state of Colorado right now. Principal project manager Joe Donnelly, a Loveland native, says the goal is to start filling the reservoir with water in the summer of next year. The future reservoir is going to hold 90,000 acre feet of storage. It's about two and a half miles long. Larimer County will operate the recreation side of things as they helped buy the land. Donnelly called this the project of his career saying it's an honor to know his team is building a reservoir that will serve the fastest growing region in our state for decades to come. The population of Colorado is growing. It has been growing for a long time, particularly in northern Colorado, where we have eight of the 10 fastest growing communities in the state. Well, you may see changes if you're heading to Red Rocks this summer. The venue's management says they've completed several improvement projects over the winter. So new curbs and gutters were added on Trading Post Road as part of the venue's stormwater management system. Other areas are being adjusted to make them more ADA accessible. And there is better access to shuttle buses at the top circle. Aurora is looking for solutions to its homelessness crisis. The mayor says they need a tough love approach. One approach includes a camping ban along Interstate 225. Anyone found doing so would be ticketed for trespassing. The idea is ticketing the encampments and giving them a court date would help push them into getting the resources they need. If they accept the help, the charges go away. This proposal is drafted so that it can be expanded to cover other problem areas of the city with the new trespass ordinance. This passed in committee last week and will be heard in a study session and voted on at the May 6th council meeting. Shoveling snow, as we all know, can be such a chore, and it's one that many people in the mountains are dealing with right now. Well, one Coloradan is looking to make shoveling just a little, a little bit easier. Your reporter in the mountain, Spencer Wilson, introduces us to Shovel Wax and the man behind the idea. It's almost mesmerizing to see what Cody Lynn is up to in Clark, Colorado. I make it all in the backyard in my uh, wood shop that I converted into a fully insured wax manufacturing facility. And what is it, you ask? Shovel Wax. It's the all-natural solution to snow stick and to snow shovels. The idea came about easy enough. And so what happened last winter, we had the deepest winter in recorded history up here. 
uh, more snow than I've ever seen in my entire life. And you have plenty of time to think about what's wrong with how we shovel snow when you're constantly clearing it. Uh, this last winter, um, I threw my back out about three times hucking snow over the 10 feet of snowpack. So he thought of a way to make shoveling a bit simpler, getting it to slide off of shovels instead of sticking to them and weighing it down. And he's doing all of this on his own with dreams of something bigger. Uh, I do intend to keep all manufacturing in America. I'd like to keep it all right here in Clark. Um, and so as far as supporting a Colorado business that isn't gonna leave, that, that is what I intend to be. And a safe product Colorado can be proud of, free of PFOS and other toxic components sometimes found in other waxes. The first thing my dog does when she runs outside, she takes a big old bite of snow. Um, and if I was poisoning that snow, I, I, I wouldn't feel good about it. So next time you're looking to support a Colorado who's doing some heavy lifting, you can lighten their load. And if you have a maintenance person who shovels your apartment for you, buy them a bar. In the high country, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. For more in-depth look of these stories and the rest of the news that you may have missed this week, you can visit our website at cbscolorado.com.